Welcome back everybody, it is week 4. My name is Mr. Hurricane and this matchup pits the 3-0 Jacksonville Jaguars against the 2-1 New York Giants. After defeating each of their division rivals in the first three weeks of the season, the Jaguars start to face some new competition and we'll see if they can keep up their success against New York. From Jacksonville, we're underway and this is a short kickoff for Tavon Austin. From the 7, spinning across the 25, he is stopped at the 28. And here is the Jacksonville offense led by Nataki Mason. Seven touchdown passes to one interception on this year. He hands off to TJ Yeldon, first and 10 and not much off tackle. He gets two at 257 yards on the year. Here's some pressure on second down as Mason flips to his left on the move for Thomas and that went through his hands and he definitely should have caught that pass. Here is a look at the New York defense. Pretty good defensive line with Jason Pierre-Paul and Vinnie Curry on the edges. Pone Chisholm leads them with two and a half sacks and they're very good in the secondary. Prince Amu Kamara and Dominique rogers Camardi on the outside and Devon House the slot corner. Third and eight and nearly intercepted off the hands of Jason Pierre-Paul. What was Mason doing here? Not even close to putting that in range for Robinson. The Giants now have their first possession underway with Matt Barkley the starting quarterback and a pretty good receiving core for him as the first throw is nearly intercepted. That was knocked away by Sergio Brown. And here is the Giants offense. Their starting tailback, Bo Myrick, is out, so the starter is C.J. Spiller with Odell Beckham, Dante Moncrief, and Victor Cruz, the wideouts. Stack formation, second down, Barkley down the middle, that's complete to his tight end, Jermichael Finley. 14 yards and Finley shaken up. New set of downs and here is C.J. Spiller downhill through the middle and he picks up another first down on a gain of 12. In the pistol now as they're off to a strong start on this possession and this is Dante Fowler with nobody blocking him. Trips right on third and seven, Barkley fakes. Here comes pressure and Barkley gets it away deep and Bell breaks it up for Odell Beckham. That's the matchup to watch for today, Bell wins this time. But he was part of a defense that allowed over 200 yards to DeAndre Hopkins last week. Still scoreless in the first quarter as Nataki Mason throws complete. Nice grab there by Emmanuel Sanders. They go off set eye. A power run here and a lane opens up. It's TJ Yeldon. Former teammate Landon Collins in on the stop. A three wide look on first and ten. Here comes pressure and Mason didn't see it coming. He's sacked by Chisholm. Now with three and a half sacks on the season. Stack formation as the Jaguars are backed up, needing a big play, third and 18. Mason checks it down and here is TJ Yeldon to the 37 and the Jaguars will have to punt this one away. Second possession for New York is now underway as from the shotgun they go to Spiller and again gashing the defense right up the middle. Don't let him get away, that is not a guy you'd want to lose focus of. After a first down run, here's Barkley to the air. On the outside, it's Odell Beckham for about eight yards as they lined him up in the slot that time. Twin tight end look, it's third and one and Rolando McLean comes through to make the play. In their 4-3 base, Rolando McLean is back in the middle to make plays like this. A couple exchanges of punts to begin this game. We're still in the first quarter. And Nataki Mason is sacked again. This time Vinnie Curry gets the best of Lakeith Mason. They're backed up to third and long again. Now needing 17. From the pocket, Mason connects and it's Emmanuel Sanders. And that will move the chains. Last time out they wanted something similar and Mason had to check it down. But there's a solid grab by Sanders and they get out to the 29. Inside, here's Yeldon making a move to the right. Here's the power, and the Giants catch him from behind. He stopped after a solid gain. Two receivers right. It's Yeldon straight ahead, first down, and powering forward across the 45. That's about seven yards. Lee and Sanders to the right. And Mason's off the mark this time in the direction of Emmanuel Sanders. They'll bring up second down. Now Lee lines up left, they run to the right. Running through a defender, Yeldon into giant territory, setting up third down and four. 
A stacked look to the right. Giants blitz. Mason gets it out quick, and that's Julius Thomas for the first down as the first quarter comes to a close. They have that stacked look again. Here is Yeldon. Falling forward again, he picks up seven more. He's at 42 yards already. Trips right on third and three. Good protection and a good throw. It's Marquise Lee inside the 10. That's a 25-yard connection, and the Jaguars have the game's first real scoring threat. Now they go trips left. Mason doesn't like what he sees. He has running room. Takes off for the end zone. Touchdown, Nataki Mason. Another rushing score as the Jaguars are on the board first. It's Mason's ninth touchdown of the season, second rushing. 7-0 Jaguars as the Giants now look to answer. Again short, they have Odell Beckham for his second catch and a first down. Now Cruz in the slot and this is Spiller angling left past Sergio Brown and again getting solid yardage, he picks up the first. 37 yards for C.J. Spiller who gets the carry again. And these running backs are really getting these yards in chunks. At the Jaguar 44, Barkley gives inside. Spiller again with room and he breaks away. Marks makes the tackle, but it's another giant first down. At the 34 yard line, back to Spiller now off tackle. And Buchanan is there to make the stop. They finally make a play in the run game, and it's the right cornerback, not a linebacker or a lineman. This is Steven Ridley trying to work outside, and again the tackle's made by Buchanan. Third down and eight after a couple short runs. Four-man rush. Barkley in trouble, and eventually the pressure gets there. He's sacked by Dante Fowler, and that takes him out of field goal range. Fowler beat Eric Flowers, and Odrick beat Phil Lodholt. The Jaguars keep the Giants off the board, but they're pinned inside their own five. Trying to get some breathing room, it's Yeldon tackled by Collins, gain of five. Two receivers right, seven-man box, and here is Yeldon. Good spin move, he fights ahead and picks up five more, but not quite the first. Perfect time to call on the rookie. It's Calvin Ford, third and inches, and that is just enough to get the conversion. Ford so far quiet this year, but he's been a situational player while Yeldon's done a good job. Blitz picked up. Mason composed, and there is Julius Thomas to the 30-yard line. They get a 15-yard chunk. 2.41 to go in this first half as this game is cruising along, and again Mason down the middle, and that is Julius Thomas for another first down. They've worked from the 5 to the 42-yard line. They want the screen now, and it gets to Sanders somehow, and they're going to get almost another first down off of this. I can't believe that wasn't knocked away. From the Giant 44, here's the blitz. It's picked up, and Mason completes short. That's Allen Robinson as he gets six yards. Clock winding down toward a minute left, third and five. Mason right, and incomplete for Julius Thomas. That was shy of the marker anyway, and kicking into the wind at this part of the field is probably not a good idea, and they'll punt. The Giants haven't been going three and out, but they still end up punting. It's seven to nothing, they have 56 seconds to try and make something happen here in the first half. Barkley sailing, it's nearly picked off. It's Sergio Brown with his second deflection. Cruz lines up right in the secondary playing off. Pressure got there, and Cruz drops that pass. Coverage by Michael Bryan. Third down and 10, and it looks like they're content now. No more passing as Spiller gets crushed by Rolando McLean. Jaguars call a timeout. They want to return this punt. What can the electrifying Tavon Austin do as the punt sails deep with the wind helping it, and Austin lets it go? Why aren't you returning it? The Giants pin them all the way at the eight and flip the field. That is a missed opportunity by Tavon Austin as the Jaguars playing a risky here, throwing it from the goal line as a flag flew in. And that catch by Holiday will be negated by a Lakeith Mason holding call. So now they back up even more to the four yard line and just run it. And this is yelled on first and 14 as he is spun down by Landon Collins and they're gonna let this one go. That is it for the first half. Seven to nothing is all the points we saw. Both teams ran the ball well, but both passing offenses weren't that impressive. 
and the defenses have controlled this game thus far. Both teams had some rushing success and the Jaguars did move the football in the air a little bit. But it's only 7 to nothing as the second half is underway. Giant ball. And back to the one thing that's worked for them. C.J. Spiller, that's four yards. Spiller at 61 yards. He gets it again. And this time runs into Telvin Smith. That's improved run defense at least. Now third and four. Three wide from the pistol. Barkley short. That's complete. And Finley has just enough to move the chains. New York at their own 36, they go trips left and hand it off. This is Spiller sweeping left. He's dragged down by Michael Bryan, but it's another giant first down. And the shotgun now, and this is Steven Ridley off tackle. He's into Jaguar territory as they get six more rushing yards. Beckham in the slot, will they go to him again? Off the play fake, and complete! This is Finley inside the 35 as the Giants have put together one of their best drives already. They're going to run it again off tackle with Spiller, making a nice move inside the 30. That's a gain of five yards. Here are his numbers, 16 carries, 82 yards. Not a bad outing. From the 28, they give it the 28. And Spiller again with the first down. This is a run-blocking offensive line, and they're doing their job today. Ridley straight ahead with running room inside the 10. Finally brought down by the defensive backs at around the five-yard line. There is just no inside resistance even when the Jaguars rotate new linemen in. Spiller again, powering to the goal line. He's denied the end zone by Reggie Nelson, making it second down and goal. Again from the shotgun, Spiller spinning into the end zone and the Giants tie this game. That was a 12 play possession with over seven minutes taken off the clock. The Jaguar run defense looked improved the first two plays, but they couldn't keep it going. 5.53 to go in the third quarter as the Jaguars try out their running game, and TJ Yeldon has five of his own. Two tight ends on the field from the pistol, and here's a play fake. Nowhere to roll out. Mason has to do something and just gets that away incomplete. You have to be impressed by this giant defense. And here comes the safety on third down. Mason hit again and throws incomplete. Great coverage downfield. We'll take a second look at it. It was Landon Collins on the blitz. And by the time Marquise Lee cleared open, it was too late. Giants, after a 12-play possession, force a three and out, and they go right back to their ground game. You can't blame them. It's C.J. Spiller to the 34. He's now over 100 yards. 3.46 to go, and there's a play made by Jacksonville. Rolando McLean is there in the backfield. That's a good start. It's second and 12. Barkley swings left, and Spiller's met by Josh Buchanan and tackled again. Solid tackling today by Buchanan. It's third and 12. A three-wide formation. Barkley with time, checks it down, and Ridley picks up the first down. All the receivers went deep. That cleared out a spot underneath. Jaguar stacked the box, and here's a big play in the backfield as they're getting much more aggressive with their run blitzes. Third and 14, they're showing blitz again. Here they come. Barkley downfield and nearly intercepted. He wanted Finley, and Brown was there again. He's done a great job in pass defense today. Nearly a Reggie Nelson interception. The third quarter is drawing to a close as the Jaguars have it, and another incompletion looking for Allen Robinson, and that was Devon House. Lee lines up right, 22 seconds on the clock, and Mason complete, this is Julius Thomas just getting enough to move the chains. That first down will take us to the fourth quarter. Still not much scoring at seven apiece. Tied up here to begin the fourth Jaguar ball. Here's Nataki Mason. And pressure gets there as he just is able to throw an incompletion. It's now third and eight. Trips right, including Keaston Holiday. Mason down the middle. Holiday hangs on, and the Jaguars move the chains. Great play all around. From the pass protection to the throw and the catch there with all those giants around him. At the 49, they go back to the run, and trying to make a dash to the right, Yeldon was stopped, but still got good yardage. 
They have Calvin Ford in the game. The rookie goes up the middle and picks up a first down as he gains about seven. Yeldon back in. Robinson slot left. Here's a blitz. And short on the outside. That's Julius Thomas not quite getting the first down. Three tight ends and the rookie Ford on third and one. Ford gets it. And he has the first down taking the Jaguars down to the giant 25. Nearing the red zone for only the second time. Mason down the middle and lucky that wasn't intercepted. Thomas was there and it looked like it hit him in the hands. The linebacker Reynolds almost had a play on it. A big third down now. They need eight. Pressure there and the check down hits Yeldon. He gets the first down. You need to have that reliable safety blanket out of the backfield and TJ Yeldon is that guy. At the 14, Yeldon running into his own man and is stopped for a two-yard loss back at the 16. A stack look to the right. Mason fakes on second down. He has to spin around, rolling outside the pocket and can't hit Yeldon here as he gets hit again. And it's third and 12 this time. Lee slot left at three wide set. Mason fires for Sanders and he couldn't hang on. The normally sure-handed Emmanuel Sanders can't make the play. Prince of Mukamara helps break it up. And here is the field goal unit. As the Jaguars finally score again, it's 10-7 here in the fourth quarter. We have less than seven minutes to go on this one. And can the Jaguars protect this three-point lead? Here's the return. Odell Beckham angling to the middle and brought down by D. Ford. And Beckham is now shaken up. The Giants need their playmakers at this stage, but Beckham goes to the sideline. On the ground, Spiller shut down by Telvin Smith. They need to force this team to pass. They have not proven they can do it today. They want the screen. Here is Spiller again. Across the 25 and stop shy of the 30. Third and short. The box is stacked, and Spiller goes right up the middle. They opened up another big lane for him, and Spiller has 11 more yards. Less than five minutes to play. From the 40, play fake. Borkley spins around. Back to the middle and broken up. Knocked away by Bell. Still no sign of Beckham. Second down. Barkley short complete to Moncrief and stopped after a gain of around seven. Another key third down. Giants need midfield to move the chains. Barkley fires outside and is off the mark. The fourth receiver, Mason, never saw it. And they're going to have to punt. 4.04 to go as the kick goes deep. They'll avoid Tavon Austin and pin the Jaguars at the 7. With only four minutes remaining, this is where you want to see the running game take over. Two tight ends plus Calvin Ford. And he's stopped for a loss by Leroy Reynolds, who's played very well today. Clock down to 3.18. Here's TJ Yeldon. And he gets an opening but stumbles and is stopped after an eight yard gain. Can they convert and keep draining the clock? Third and three, they'll pass. Mason connects with Sanders and that's a first down. I wasn't sure if he hung on at first, but here's that second look. He knew the hit was coming, but he held on. Three tight ends and Calvin Ford back in the game and the Giants stuff him here, only a gain of one. We're back to third down. The Jaguars trying to seal this game. Mason to the air. Going outside and missing Emmanuel Sanders. The Giants will have another chance. They hang on to one timeout. And the Jaguars will have to make a stand. Here is Brian Anger kicking into the wind. And look who has returned. Odell Beckham with a fair catch. Giants need at least a field goal. They begin at their own 41. Matt Barkley from the shotgun back to pass. Down the middle and knocked down. That is Rolando McClain. Now it's second down and 10. Two receivers left. Play action. Here comes pressure. Barkley chased and just gets rid of it. But it's now third down and 10. Now they go to a stack formation. Beckham lines up left. Barkley with time. He passes downfield, and Cruz couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Brian with the hit. It's fourth down and ten. Their last chance to keep this game going. Barkley up the seam. Finley couldn't hang on, and the game is over. The Jaguars will win again. Finley had it with one hand, but could not secure it. 
four straight incompletions on that final possession, and the Jaguars improved to 4-0 and oh, with a 10-7 win. Today it was all about the defense and the running games of both sides. The Giants, even with Odell Beckham, Victor Cruz, Dante Moncrief, and C.J. Spiller, couldn't do much in the air. Luckily for them, C.J. Spiller was very good on the ground, but it wasn't enough as he only managed seven points. Odell Beckham was held very quiet in this game, and that was the matchup to watch out for after Nate Bell didn't have a great game against DeAndre Hopkins. And of course, with a star receiver and a star corner, you always want to see who wins that battle, and it wasn't even close. Beckham didn't make a single catch on Bell. And I don't think any of his teammates did either. Nataki Mason was very quiet with a good giant defensive performance. They got pressure, played tight man coverage, they had smart blitzes, and he was held to only 153 yards passing, but again did not turn the football over. The run defense was definitely a concern because the rotation didn't really seem to make a big difference in this game. What ultimately helped the defense the most was aggressive run blitzing, which I was hesitant about because if you blitz and they're passing, well you got Odell Beckham, Victor Cruz, and Dante Moncrief to worry about. But the Jaguars are 4-0 after this matchup, along with many other teams in the league. Still six undefeated left standing. And the Jaguars will take on the Philadelphia Eagles next week. The Eagles are 2-2, coming off a loss last week. Their starting quarterback is Mark Sanchez. And they have a very good offensive line and defensive front seven. They don't have as much receiving talent as the Giants do, but we have to keep an eye on their ground game. They will not have DeMarco Murray as he is injured, as is Tyrod Taylor who would normally be starting. So it's Mark Sanchez, Isaiah Crowell, and a very good offensive line helping protect those two. So, we need to see the defensive line have a much better game next week, otherwise it doesn't matter who's in the backfield, they will get yards. The Eagles have a very good defense, and this should be a good matchup. Thank you all for watching today's episode in the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. And this is my 365th franchise game. I've commentated over since I started making franchise content exactly five years ago today. This is the 564th game if you include the Dynasty series that I've done as well. And thank you all for supporting me over all of these years, all of these series and allowing me to have an amazing time making this content. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm very grateful for all the support that I receive, and I want you all to know how much I appreciate it. That is it for today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you have not done so already for much more franchise content to come. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought of today's game and which players impressed you the most. I'll have the next franchise episode up for you guys on either Sunday or Monday. I'll try to have it up Sunday, but Monday at the latest against Philadelphia. Thank you guys again. I'll see you then. Have a great day.